Good evening, I'm Evangelist Shannon Lee Wright, and I want to share a word with you and something that God has placed into my heart this entire week about Sunday the 18th of July at 8 p.m. South African time. It's about plug into the power of prayer. We live in a time where prayer is not a priority anymore. I want to read to you out of 1 Thessalonians verse 5 to 17. One Thessalonians five verse seventeen to twenty two. Pray without ceasing. In everything give give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despite prophecies, taste all things, hold fast what is good, abstain from every form of evil. Again, Look at verse 17. Pray without ceasing. There's a difference when you plug in your cell phone charger or your television. If you don't plug it into the plug, there is no power. The same with your prayer life. If you don't plug into God, there is no power. But when you plug in your charger of your phone, there is, and you flip the switch, there is power instantly and the same with god when you plug into him there is power and i want to encourage you tonight to get into unity wherever you are whatever you do on sunday 8 p.m join us into unity in prayer get your family together your neighbors wherever you are let's stand together and pray for our country let's pray for those who are sick for those who need saving And I'm going going to read to you something in Acts 1 verse 8. And it says here that, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Become a witness. And how do I do that? By witnessing the message my pastor used always used to say preach the gospel at all times if necessary use words we are the only bible people read without opening them we need an upper room prayer experience just like the disciples had i'm going to read to you further the upper room prayer meeting and that is what we are going to do on sunday We're going to get into our upper rooms and we're going to fight the battle, not with a physical weapon, but with the one weapon, the sword. And the only weapon that we can pick up in this time to fight any battle is with the word of God. And if we're going to get down and dirty, the only way we can do that is to get down on our knees. Billy Graham used to say, to get nations back on their feet we must first get down on our knees so i want to encourage you to pray with us get into unity plug into god so that there can be power and the power not of this world i'm going to read further in acts 1 verse 13 and when they had entered they went up into the upper room where they were staying, Peter, James, John, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, and Judas, the son of James. They all continued with the one accord in prayer. And that is what God placed into my heart, is that we should get into one accord and pray for our country, pray for those who are sick, pray against COVID-19 and the people that is sick and need healing there's only one way to get a nation back on their feet like we've heard and that's to get back on our knees the only way we can plug in is with 
power prayer prayer is a priority it doesn't matter where you are get your family together just get into one accord and pray africa shall be saved and may god continue to bless you and keep you safe during this time